hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll just provide you the preset for the camera filter and here i made this preset for you guys and this one is free of cost the before image was like that you are getting the preset after applying that you are getting like this so this one is the sunset light effects uh, with the modern type tone and you can just use it out and what will be the settings and how to download this preset and i made it for you guys and this one is free of cost so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and open up and here is my stock image i downloaded this one from devianna.com and if you want to get the download link please check out my video description and over there i'll provide you for this the credit line of the image and uh, hope that it will be maintained by you as well so press ctrl j for the backup purpose of the layer and after that go to the filter camera raw filter so camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop you know that and uh, you are getting this one by default in the cc version that means the creative cloud version and if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it manually and set it up manually if you want to get the download link of the camera raw filter please check out my video description here is a small menu go to the load settings options and here the end light that means the day ending light is like that and hit the open button you are getting the setup or tone like this so how i made it and what will be the setup here i made it warm color so remember one thing if you get the photo in a cool mood or cool tone you have to make it the warmer tone so it will be more amazing if you do these type of things and the tint that is zero percent exposure zero contrast zero and highlight i made it minus 77 just because of i want to make the lights in a highlight mode that's why i make the highlight or other ambient highlight just made it down and the shadow that is 25 plus 25 if you add the shadow it will be more prominent and white color that is plus 33 black color plus 9 and clarity plus 2 so why used here a clarity just because of the lights and the like skin color and hair color and other stuffs here's the vibrance that is plus 3 and the saturation plus 3 here i didn't use the tone curve here and i use the sharpening amount that is the detailing tab 28 for the amount and the radius 1.0 detail 25 luminance of noise reduction that is 25 for here now if you get some green in the photo when you're getting this one in a, in a low light you might get the green over there so that's why i made this one 25 and luminance detail that is 50 and luminance uh, here the contrast zero and the color that is 40 24 and color detail 50 color smoothness that is 56 so these three tabs or three things just assign that when you're getting some grain it will it's uh, colorful so if you work with that it will be removed for that so you're getting the smooth image that is grain free here the hsl panel most important thing that is hue saturation and luminance hue things so here i didn't touch the red orange i made it plus four that is a little bit the yellowish and the yellow i didn't touch that green that is plus nine for a little bit aqua tone and the aqua plus 20 that is for totally aqua tone and the blue that is minus 19 and magenta plus 25 it's just going to a little bit red type and the saturation 13 for the red and plus 29 for the orange yellow that is 18 for yellow and aqua plus 19 and luminance i made the luminance of the orange color and yellow color just because of here the orange and yellow define a light color and a face color as well so purple minus 6 and magenta minus 7 so after the split toning you know that the shadow color and highlight color that define with the split toning so highlight color that is hue 59 little bit yellowish or orangish and here the saturation 10 and the shadow that is 59 and the saturation that is 6 
and 59 and 59 i made this one same things so after that no lens correction issue over here and fx i made the dehaze this one plus seven for the prominent and crystal clear look amount of the like vignetting that is minus eight and the most important thing is the camera calibration you are getting over here three primary color red green and blue primary color you know that if i change this one whole scenario will be changed and here i made the red primary hue that is minus 19 for the little bit pink type and the saturation 18 and the green primary that is little bit uh, like aqua type that's why the value is plus 42 and the blue primary minus 8 just for the aqua look if i make it like that it will be more aqua or like this so after that hit okay so you're getting amazing things or amazing look for these photographs after that i'll add another filter from the nick collection you know that this one is favorite filter or plugins uh, for me and if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description you are getting over here bunch of presets and other stuffs. I'm using here the cross processing filter and here are lots of method. Which one is perfect for your photography? Please you have to experiment that things. In my case, I just use L02 and hit OK. It will take time to load it up and provide you the final output. So after just getting the result, just go to over here opacity and make it 85 it will give you the best output effort so before one was like that that is the good image but if you want to get the feel of the image you have to apply this one so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell again for the new notifications most amazing things are coming next and if you want to get the resource file download link please check out my video description until the next video i am signing out today bye bye